Hey, and welcome back to the Clear English Corner. I'm Keenan, your personal American English pronunciation coach. And in this lesson, we're talking about the key if your goal is to sound more native and natural in your American English pronunciation. Today, we're talking about the most common sound in the English language, the schwa. So if you've been studying English pronunciation at all, I'm sure you've heard about this schwa sound. It has a funny name, schwa, schwa, schwa. It has a funny symbol, this upside down E that I'm sure you're seeing everywhere in your dictionary.com app as you're looking up words and their pronunciation and their IPA transcription. But I'm sure you also have questions about this sound. What exactly is schwa? And why is it so important? How do you say the schwa sound? And what letter says the schwa? Well, in this lesson, we're going to answer those questions. So let's dive in. The schwa is key to natural sounding pronunciation in two different areas. First, it's important in the pronunciation of longer words, of words that have multiple syllables. It's also important when considering how certain words within sentences are pronounced as well. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about how schwa impacts syllables within words. In another lesson, we're going to talk about how schwa impacts words within sentences. And you can get to that lesson by clicking on the tag, or I have a link for you in the video description. Okay, so question one, what is schwa? So if you've watched my word stress series, you know that in any word with more than one syllable, there's going to be one syllable that stands out, a syllable that's emphasized or stressed. This is a super important concept to understand if your goal is clarity in your spoken English. So you definitely want to watch the word stress series. Again, I have a link here in this tag and I'll share the links in the video description. Okay, so any word with more than one syllable has a syllable that stands out and it's stressed. There's other syllables that are unstressed, which means they're said quickly and without emphasis. Still other syllables will sometimes be reduced. A reduced syllable is said very quickly and the vowel sound becomes schwa. Okay, so what does schwa sound like? It sounds like this. Uh, 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 uh. Schwa is a very relaxed sound. It's very neutral. It's a lazy sound. There's no tension in your jaw, lips, or tongue as you make this sound. You're just opening your mouth a bit and vocalizing. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see if you can hear schwa in some of these words. About, about. Okay, we have two syllables in that word. The second syllable is emphasized or stressed. The ow sound is stretched about. The first syllable is your schwa, uh, uh, about, about. It's not about, it's about, about that. Let's talk about that. Okay, try this one. Today, today. Again, we've got two syllables in this word. Our second syllable has the stressed or emphasized vowel sound, a, a. We stretch that sound and put it in the spotlight. The first syllable is where we have our schwa sound. Today, today, t, t, today. It's not today, today. Later today. Let's meet later today. Another one, problem, problem. Two syllables in this word. Our first syllable is emphasized, the ah, problem is stretched and emphasized in the first syllable. Our second syllable is where you have your schwa. Lum, lum. Problem, problem. What's the problem? Try this one. Salad, salad. Where's the stress in that word? Salad. If you said the first syllable, you're right. The ah sound in the first syllable, salad. The second syllable is our schwa, lud, lud. 
It's said very quickly and we have that uh sound. The the salad. Salad. I'll try the salad. One more. Connect. Connect. Two syllables. Emphasis where? On the second syllable, the e eh sound. Connect. First syllable becomes the schwa. K. K. Very quick, unemphasized, a uh, schwa sound. K. K. Connect. Connect. Let's connect later. Interesting, right? So question number two, what letter says the schwa sound? Well, here's where things get a little tricky with spelling and pronunciation. Any vowel letter can be the schwa sound. Let me say that again. Any vowel letter can be the schwa sound. That's why you can't look at a written word and necessarily know how it's pronounced. You have to get really good at being able to hear the schwa sound and then imitate it in your speech. Check out how the vowel sound changes in these words when they're put into a reduced syllable. For example, take the word M-A-N, man, man. Put it in this word and it becomes man, man. Salesman, salesman. Another example, O-F-F, -F, off, off. Put it in this word and it becomes uh, offend, offend. F-A-S-T, fast. Put it in this word and it becomes fast, fast. Breakfast, breakfast. And one more, P-O-S-E, pose, pose. But put it in this word and it becomes pus, pus. Purpose purpose. So why is understanding, hearing, and imitating the schwa sound so important? Well, it's because it's the contrast between the stressed or emphasized syllables and these reduced and unstressed syllables that creates this rhythm in the English language. And it's essential if you want to sound more natural and native in your spoken English that you learn to hear and imitate this sound. Let's try listening for schwa in some longer words. Try this one. Economic. Economic. We've got four syllables. The third syllable is your stressed syllable. Na, the ah sound. Economic. And we have a schwa in the second syllable. K, k, eka, eka. Economic. Benefit benefit. Three syllables here. Our emphasis on the first syllable, the e eh sound. Benefit. Benefit. That second syllable, that's where you'll find your schwa. N, n. Bena. Bena. Benefit. Individual. Individual. Five syllables in this word. Emphasis on the third syllable, the I sound, individual, individual. The second syllable is where you have the schwa, d, d, inda, inda, individual, individual. Try this one. Analysis, analysis. Four syllables in this word with emphasis on the second syllable, the a ah sound, analysis. And yes, there are two schwas in this word, the first syllable and the third, analysis. A, uh, a, uh, ana, analysis, analysis. Do you hear it? All right, so a lot of information about this key sound, the schwa. I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please be sure to give a thumbs up and share the lesson with your friends. Remember, there's another lesson on how schwa impacts words within sentences and the most commonly reduced words in the English language. You won't want to miss that one. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.